Once again, you have found Episode Zero Podcast. With your host, Ram God, coming at you from San Francisco, California, recorded in the Bureau and in Home Studios. Now it's time for the show. And y'all know we did it again. Metal as fuck. We done made a remix. Keep the shit hot and real for you motherfuckers. So... What I have done is today for the podcast, I have a old Imperial Loman song that's done, been remixed, and the flavor is mad different because two different singers. Now, if y'all paying attention, in a recent podcast, we talk about how Imperial Loman used to have a female singer, Adri, and if you don't know that, that's news to you. How about you go back, check some of the old episodes, there's some knowledge up in there for you about some of the shit back in the day. Uh, and we'll talk about it more, I guess, today. Maybe, maybe more, maybe not. Maybe I just make jokes. I don't know. Fuck you. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, this song features two different vocalists. We have Adri, who was the singer that was featured in the Necrotic Blood song that we did, I think, two weeks ago. But don't hold me to that because I am stupid. And we're featuring again today. But the male vocalist is also different. Yes. Didn't know that. You didn't know that. See? probably y'all probably don't even know that for a short time we had a different male vocalist and i ain't gonna go into the drama y'all don't get the drama fuck the drama the drama was dumb and it's over it's been over it's settled and we happy where we're at but we ain't ever gonna hate on the past you know i was lucky enough for a time there when i couldn't work with andre uh to work with another awesome vocalist uh different style different flavor you know, different fun, you know, cool motherfucker. We used to have this guy, crazy Spaniard Beltron, who's bad motherfucker in his own right. Um, and he used to shine his light on us too. Uh, it's interesting. It's fun and it's great. And I hope you guys enjoy it because it's a different take on Imperial Loman. Um, this is almost like, it feels like a different band. In fact, I'll tell you this. The only person on this song that's still in this band is me, Ram God. The one and only. Uh, it's I guess that's the nature of drama. Sometimes drama pushes people together, pulls people apart, changes things, makes things different. But, you know, you have to eclipse that. You have to be better in drama. If this podcast is about anything, because honestly, I ain't got nothing that this podcast is about other than I'm showing you the song and running my mouth. Uh, but in truth, I would say there is a theme. There is an inherent undertone which is never take the drama to heart because that shit is temporary. Drama, hella temporary. This is a perfect example because this was birthed out of drama. You know, band drama is, is real. Uh, motherfuckers have to deal with it constantly. Um, and it's it's a measure of who you are as an individual, an adult, a man, woman, blah, blah, blah. Um, how good you are of an individual, how you deal with this drama. See, this motherfucker, and this motherfucking band has always dealt with drama. We always had drama. Always will have drama because we're passionate. Uh, it's dramatic music, you know. It's bombastic. It's got hella, I don't know, attempt at dynamics and really outlandish music. It's supposed to be emotional. It's supposed to feel big. Um, and we've always embodied that. It's just an inevitable reality. The drama is going to happen when you actually give a shit about what you're doing. And let me ne- let me say this. If you're in a situation where you're being creative with other people, if you're in a group, you're in a band, you're in an art troupe, you're in a you know comedy, sketch comedy troupe, something, and there ain't drama, then you're not doing it right, you know, because conflict is part of it. You know, creativity comes out of uh, having to expand the mind which is usually done by jumping right the fuck over some hurdles um i wouldn't suggest that you go out and you start drama if you got a band and things are going good don't go start no drama but ask yourself like is everyone being honest are they telling me the truth are they calling me out on my shit am i calling them out on their shit are we keeping it hell real uh because sometimes people just hide that drama personally i just had a situation where i had somebody who's an old friend kind of come back around to talk to me again and there was drama. And it's no hurt. It's no pain. I got no resentments. I got no problems. But it's just an inevitable reality. Sometimes we create it. Sometimes we're just the victim of it. But you always got to deal with it. Because even if it ain't your drama, sometimes it's up to you to settle it. It ain't easy being an adult. And it's not very adult 
when you got a hell of drama. But adults handle drama, right? Am I kidding? Is that I mean, when you're a little kid and some shit went down, the first thing you did is you ran for look for the adults. I'm gonna go run tell that. You know what I'm saying? That's how things was. The real shit is when you grow the fuck up and you ain't gotta go and play those little kid games anymore and you handle drama. You know, there's nothing better than being able to negotiate or argue effectively. There's nothing better than being able to communicate with people in the way that they communicate so that you could be understood clearly. And uh, as an artist, that's a very important point because you might make the greatest music in the world, but if it's out of context of the world, guess what? Nobody's going to give a shit. You might write the greatest shit about something that didn't happen to you ever and nobody will pay attention or you could write the simplest fucking song about something that did happen to you that actually has real emotions and feelings and real dynamic uh, human connection. You know, something to say in your voice that people connect to it. I mean, who doesn't like uh, music that speaks to you? And if your music doesn't speak to you, well, I suggest you shut the fuck up until you have something to say. You know, if... Uh, you don't have something to say, then maybe you need to go live some life experiences so you have some reason to, to open your mouth and spend somebody's time, uh, spend their emotional energy. Because really, when you think about it, music is about emotional energy. A musician is trying to put you in a time and place in like this like 3D environment of sound. In that way, music is a natural form of nonverbal communication. People can detect the bullshit. They can tell when it's real and when it's not. As an artist, integrity is everything. That is your bread and butter. Uh, for getting people to believe in what you have to say and what, you, uh, what you're feeling. Especially if it's controversial. Or obtuse. You know, sometimes people just aren't that sensitive. They, the artist, like a great painter, has to become very sensitive to the nature of his media to be able to communicate correctly. It's exactly what, what I was referring to before. You know, the artist has to speak the visual language of the looker or the observer. Um, and music is the same shit. I got to speak the language you speak if I ever hope for you to understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, this song is... Um, it's about anger. It's about being mad. And that's where all the drama came from. And that's why it's very befitting. Anger is a pure emotion. And it's not necessarily the most transparent one. It's not easy to show anger. And I guess there's a slight tinge of the attempt to philosophize anger, if that makes in the song. But that's beside the point. Uh, trust me to say it's not undue anger. The world is a strange place and we are strange people in it. And sometimes that leads to conflict. And conflict, like I've said before, it's not a bad thing. It might be the inherent cause of, of artistic expression. And uh, it's definitely the fuel of artistic expression. And it might be the solution to things like anger. Uh, you know, they say talk it out. Maybe you should yell and scream it out. Tremolo, pick it out. Double bass it out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Make it metal. Why not put your anger on display? I mean, it's a great cathartic way to deal with it. I hope this song doesn't anger you, although I hope it in incites some kind of passion within you. I hope you have some kind of response, a visceral response of some sort. I want you to love it, hate it, uh, resent it, whatever. Whatever your reaction is, I'll take it, as long as it's real. Y'all motherfuckers real, I'm real. I do want to mention that if you have something to say and you want to reach out, feel free. There's always the Imperial Loma Twitter, which is a great place. I utilize um, the hashtag episode zero podcast to mark all these podcasts um, and vlogs to promote them, too, because I also do vlogs. So if you guys listen to the podcast, you don't see the vlogs. You got to check it out. Shit's on Twitter, shit's on Instagram, shit's on Facebook. Uh, we also have the Facebook. You can feel free to hit up the Facebook. Send me your shit. I want to hear your songs. I want to hear you guys contribute in the world. And um, always, superiorwoman at gmail.com. If anything, just say, love you, hate you, can't stand you, please keep them coming, whatever. We're into it. I want you guys to enjoy Petty to Superium by Imperial Loman.
as always, I love you motherfuckers in the last minute. You are the bad motherfuckers and the best motherfuckers. And if you're still here, I love you guys. And I want to thank Dan the Man for being a great bass player. I want to thank Dakota Face uh, for being involved. I want to thank Adri, uh, the Siren of Metal, for being rad as fuck and being really cool and doing a great job on the song. And, of course, I want to thank the Madman Beltron for having that big-ass fucking crazy voice. And I'm going to talk to you guys real fucking soon. Enjoy your life. Till next week, motherfuckers. Episode Zero. A Imperial Omen Production. Brought to you by Ram God. <laughs>